What's going on, y'all? Today we got NBA Legends explain why Pistol Pete was better than everyone. Let's get into it, man. See what's up. Hold on, what was that? Wait, I think we probably could do that back then. I also had the, you know what I'm saying? I had the rope. Yo. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at more NBA legends, giving their opinion about how good Pistol Pete Maravich really was. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please take a close look at the sponsor of today's episode. Today's video is brought to you. Get your money, my brother. Get your money. Get your money. Go and check it out. So where do we start now? I would suggest let's start with the greatest point guard of all time, Magic Johnson, and his opinion about how good Pistol Pete really was. Let's take a Man, look. Man, you couldn't steal it from Pistol Pete. He come down there and make up shots in the air. The no look passes. The nah, that was tough. That was tough. That was a tough shot. And to be doing that, like before. Like this is this is this is yo. Someone let me know what time period um Pistol Pete played in my fault, y'all. I gotta turn um put on do not disturb my phone. You know, it's my fault. But someone let me know what time period Pistol Pete played in, bro. To be doing that in in in, in, in this early in, in basketball history is ridiculous. You know. Over the ball and then pat it with one hand. Yo, what? I get a saucy. Oh my god, he got some swag to him. Nah, this is different. Nah, my son Pistol Pete really was out here. We're like, he got the rope. NCAA scoring champion at LSU, twice an NBA ah, scoring come champion. Here. He handled, Fuck it. And people always say, Jeff, he handled the ball like it was a yo-yo. He could go this way with the guy, that, that way with it. He could so, go this so way. The rope. Next, you, you know what I'm saying? Yo-yo goes out that way, but yo-yo was the basketball. Okay? The, the basketball was like in the big yo-yo a little string. He got the rope. He got the rope. Really <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, as we all know, Isaiah Thomas is also one of the greatest point guards of all time, and he seemed to be a big fan of Pistol Pete. Let's take a look. You go back and you look at film of what this guy was actually doing with the basketball. Nah, watch yeah, I just see it. I just see it, Zay. Try to conjure the right word. While you watch, remember so what you're saying into the, into the lane. A quarter century ago. Cool, bro. That ball looks a, like a part of his hand. And I, was, I said, he must have spent a lot of time dribbling and mm -hmm. dribbling. How many hours a day would you spend with a basketball bouncing and shooting and say when you're 12 years old? When I was 12, Don, during the summer months, about eight hours a day between eight, eight and a half, and during the winter months, about four hours a day. And uh -huh. the things that he did, he practiced them. Nothing that he did was so much spontaneous. It was because he had done these things over and over good again in practice. And he got 68 on us, as, you know, when I was with the Knicks. And I used to tell Clyde and, and, and Butch Beer that uh, he only got six on me. Mm -hmm. You're watching basketball history for Pete Maravich tonight. Here's a basket for him if he can convert. Pistol, Pistol Pete at two because for me he was the first. No offense, Brent. He was the first white guy with style and flair that I've seen. So why, why would I take offense to that? <laughs> 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 the first white guy, the first white guy to have the fashion style and between. Nah, the for the real, he got that the swag. Move was the move he did to Jerry West. Pete Maravich. Tip, tip passes like it's like he playing in the gym, man. You know, I, I love players who, who play freely and 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 as if they. As if they, they, they play their game, man. They, they hoop. Just go out there and hoop, man. You know? I love players who go out there and hoop. <laughs> the basketball, right? And he would fake the pass. He would bounce it here. Bounce it behind him. Fake the pass. And you as a defender would jump. And he'd turn back around, catch the ball, and shoot. 
that was a hell of a move. I believe it too. Like he got some, she got some shit in his bag. Like uh, I see it. But Pistol was like a guy the game was boring to him, so he had to create things to keep him interested. He just has so much razzle dazzle in his game. He was just hard to go. Really great Pistol Pete was. He was probably my most difficult opponent as far as one on one. I I saw uh, he was probably my Okay, so around the nineteen seventies. I was that's what I was gonna say, but I didn't want to be incorrect, you know. Most difficult opponent as far as one on one. I I saw Earl uh the Pearl. I played against Clyde, and I thought those guys gave me problems. Pistol was was unique with with his ball handling and dribbling and stuff like that. He could just trick guys, and he gave me probably the most difficult time. I was labeled very young as a as a showman. Try to bring fans back. You have to do something other than just put the ball in the hoop. He shot a shot one time in practice. He came down on the brink. He shot it, he let it go, he turned around and started running, and as the ball ripped the net, he said, he did the, you know, did, he did this, and, and we all went like, Larry did that, Larry got that from him, and he do, he would do stuff like that. I was like, like, man, how good is that guy? He shoots the ball, turns around, and he runs, and it, as, as he's ripping the net, he just does that. Then we'd play horse, and he had some shots where he'd jump out of bounds. He had shots I looked, I never thought of ever shooting shots. Nah, yeah, I could tell he's creative. This is a trick shot now. I can tell he's creative. Fast. Think fast. Mm. There you go, Bubba. Oh, he's got a lot of tricks. Drop it on in. Spin it off the backboard. Gotta be a bank. Gotta be a bank. There's the whistle, and the first letter goes up on Hawkins. He has great touch. When you, have, you, when you know how to, when you can handle the ball like that, a lot of times your lips and things of that nature, like, just laying the ball up would be a lot easier and having a um, touch around the rim is so much easier because you're, you're so used to having the ball in your hand. You, it's easy for you to just get the right touch and the right flick. I'm telling you, it, working on your handles, it helps you out a whole lot, man. Or my youngest, get, get your handles right, man. Repetition. Or I can make that ball talk, I think. Pistol Pete is a natural nickname. They had a two-on-one break. Maravich, let's see what he'll do. Uh. Maravich is hitting a thousand. That's the guy they came to see. Pete, Pete Maravich was so far ahead of his time, he was ten plays ahead of everyone else. Greatness. That was Pete Maravich. Did he just do what I think he did. Having the kind of career he had in college and bringing that same game and style in the pros, you know, really make people, or I would say the people that didn't really get a chance to see him, really miss him. We lost him too early, you know, because I think his accomplishment to the game hmm, of basketball. Pass RP, man. I didn't even know that. Man and, and how he played it and how he loved it and how he can do things with that basketball that most good. Letter, Gervin. We gonna remember it for a long time, man. Twenty-five footer. Yo, cause yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Me watching this video, I never knew. I never knew Pete Mirovich got like this. Uh, I promise you, I never knew this. I always heard the name Pistol Pete. Seen him in two K. You know, I seen. I, I heard the name. I knew he was a legend, but that's my first time seeing. Seen a, a, a 1970s player really out there. <laughs> you know, like, he's fake bucking. Like, he's, I ain't gonna lie, that was different, bro. Oh, I just put it on loop on accident, my fool. Magic man, he hits. The six games that we played against each other uh, in college, I think Pete averaged over 50 points a game, but we won all six games. He took losing pretty bad. I think that's why, even though he was scoring a lot of points, I think Pete would have been happier, you know, if he'd scored less and we won some of the ball games that we lost. Pete Maravich mm. falls somewhere between the Globetrotters and the and one tour in basketball history in terms of what he could do with a basketball. Uh, how far ahead of his time was he as a ball handler and Yo. a passer? Uh, tremendous. He had all the tricks, basically. He could play in any era. Uh, he would dribble mm -hmm. between his legs, behind his back, throw great passes, had great shooting range, uh, and he was a great scorer. He had 68 points in one game, 
averaged 31 points one season when he led the NBA in scoring. So he could play in any era, the era before, during, or even today. Yes, um, but, but he was not sort of for real though. If you look back at his career, I'm he had telling a you, he get surgical. Number one, he had knee issues after, say, his seventh year, and this was before modern technology could help him. And his teams were mis were pretty much mismanaged. And then mm. his last year, he played for the Boston Celtics. You know, me being an old school NBA fan, I'm always very happy about when I find some new clips from NBA legends giving their opinion about certain players. And I love putting those videos together because for me, it's just super interesting to hear what guys have to say. That's the end of this one, y'all. Yo, I had no idea Pete Maravich got like this, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all got to put me on, man. Y'all really got to let me know. What legends to react to, man? Because this was crazy. I did not know he was really out here getting shifty on niggas with the rope. It's crazy. Um, but if y'all enjoyed, then know what to do. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want me to react to next. And click on the last reaction on your screen right now, right in front of you. And I'm out of here, man.